It's Small Way with another fabulous video. family members that are joining the family you guys welcome so today you guys I want to teach you how to make homemade sofrito and for the ones that don't know what that is it's like a bunch of vegetables um you're gonna need onions one big onion or two small onions you guys um I'll explain to you what what it is in a minute you guys I'm sorry sweet peppers green peppers red peppers um cilantro you guys and eight uh small cloves of garlic a little bit of oil containers you guys to put it in and some sasson okay you guys so for the ones that don't know what it is a lot of spanish people as myself a lot of latinas latin people we put it a lot in our food the, it's the green container um it's always best to make it homemade you guys because it's fresher and I feel like sometimes at the store they dilute it somewhat but it gives the food a lot of flavor you guys like a lot of flavor so I already have mine already pre-cut you guys except for the cilantro which I'm gonna cut right now so you guys today I went out with nine yeah when I tell you people be acting crazy like crazy we on the bus and this lady she gets on there right y'all and so she asked somebody to use their phone, you know. So the guy was like, well, I don't have minutes on my phone. What, what she going to try to cuss him out? You don't want to need a phone, lady. Talking about, oh, how you ain't got no phone? How you got a phone and you ain't got, you know, why is it on? Like, you got to pay the bill. Lady, you don't have a phone. I was like, I can't. I can't. This is why. This is why. I need to learn how to drive, y'all. Like, real quick. All right, you guys, so I'm just plucking out the cilantro because you don't want the stems in it. So no stems in it, you guys, and we're going to rinse it out. I know I should have been better prepared. Yeah, don't come from me. Don't come from me. Hold on, y'all work with me. Hold on, you guys, because I got to rinse out my cilantro because sometimes I feel like it's a little dirty, and I don't, I don't like that kind of stuff. I do not. So, yes, I was just like, this lady is crazy. So then, you guys, there was like a cute little, you know, Latin couple sitting in front of her and this lady politely started talking to this other lady's husband so then she's gonna ask the lady is that you know ask him oh is that your woman and the lady was like i'm not his woman i'm his wife i said oh my goodness i said it would have been my mama she would have got crazy up in there with her cane y'all because my mama only playing on game when it comes to my daddy y'all hold on let me run this out y'all work with me work with me okay you guys so we're working the cilantro out the reason why I'm rinsing it out, you guys, is because I don't, I feel like sometimes, you know, in the stores, things just need to be rinsed out. That's just me. Like, okay. All right, guys, so we're going to add oil in here, okay? Just eyeball it, you guys. Just eyeball it. Not too much. You don't want it oily. I want to say about that much. And my tusa. So, and all we're really going to do is just blend it, you guys. Blend all this goodness together little by little. All right, so we put the sasson in there, y'all. We're going to put eight. So I got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight in there. We're going to add the cilantro, y'all. Okay. And we're just going to grab, like, red pepper, sweet pepper, just a handful, y'all, green pepper, and onions. Y'all see that? And all we're going to do, you guys, is we're just going to blend it, y'all. Let me just move, y'all. We're just going to blend it. So it's going to be a bit noisy. Okay, turn it on. And we're going to do this. Oh, 
Wait a minute, y'all. So I'm telling my blender wants to act up, y'all. So we'll see. What the heck? Yeah, hold on. Okay, there we go. So as you guys can see, it's starting to blend up. You're just gonna have to give it a minute, y'all. So anyways, you guys, hold on, y'all, because I have to shake it, hold on. I don't know what is going on with my damn blender today, y'all. It acting up. Okay. All right. So we have three is on. Okay, and there we go, y'all. So I'm just gonna come back when this is all blended up, okay, you guys? So give me one second. Okay, you guys, so finally, I don't know what the heck was wrong with my blender. So you see this consistency, you guys? This is the consistency you guys want. So all you guys gotta do is just keep keep repeating the same thing. You don't, you know, you add and take as much as you want out. So if you want a lot of um, onion, do add extra onions. If you want more sweet peppers, do add extra peppers. And you just keep doing that, you guys, until it blends up. Just add a little bit more oil, cause like I said, the store brand. I don't, I don't like that one. I don't like it, y'all. So because this is no noisy of you guys. I will be back once this is all done, all right? So work with me, y'all, work with me. All right, you guys, so we are all done with the homemade sofrito. And all you guys gotta do, let me move the camera, y'all, is go to like Dollar Tree, guys, and I found these, four of them for a dollar, you guys. So 25 cents a container. And you guys just, you know, pour them in there. And you guys pop it in the freezer. That is it, y'all. That's all you guys have to do. You can fill it if you want, because you can't let it go to waste, y'all. Mm. You guys, that smells really, really, really good. Really, really good. Of course, you know I'm going to have to leave nice on y'all, because she's going to be like, you made sofrito, you didn't give me any. That's what her going to say, y'all. Yeah, but you guys, it was too funny on the bus. I was like, this lady is a crazy. Like, it was just a long day. Because I had to go get a few things from my cousin. As you guys know, um, he lost everything in the fire. So I went and grabbed a few things for him and the baby, y'all. God is so good. Because at least, you know, they're here and they're safe, you know. And anything materialistic, you guys, he can always rebuild. He's a hardworking man. I'm very proud of him. You know, he's a good guy. So, yes, my beautiful souls. And all you guys have to do is pop these bad boys in the freezer, you guys. And you guys have homemade sofrito so remember you guys are going to need red peppers you guys are going to need cilantro you're going to need sweet peppers i don't remember the name of these you guys i'm sorry um a, a onion a big one or a two small ones um green peppers eight small uh clovers clovers eight of them some oil and some sazon in your blender and you guys are good to go and like i said us Latin people, you guys, we use this a lot. Like, I need my sofrito, but there's no sofrito like my dad's sofrito. Like, his is just delish. Like, it makes the food taste, like, oh, fantastic. Fantastic. But, yes, my beautiful souls, I just want to teach you guys how to make homemade sofrito. Because I did a live on nice um, on her live, RNN's family. And I figured I'd just do it on my channel and teach you guys for those that didn't watch it. How to make it yourselves. So, yes, you guys, I'm gonna clean up my mess. You guys stay safe, stay blessed, and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Oh, and before I go, Mo, thank you so much for the answers. I appreciate them so, so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Mwah. Love you.